Good morning, guys. Today, I'm on my way to Repco because we're going to be going and picking up some stuff so we can service the almighty falcon. If you guys have been watching the channel over the past two weeks, we did a six or five to six thousand K road trip in this thing. And I serviced it before we left, and now I gotta service it again, two weeks later. So we're gonna be going picking up some oil, fuel filters, all that sort of stuff, and getting this thing sorted. By the way, I'm sorry if the camera quality changes for the worst in this video. Uh, I, a few days ago, I bought Sarah a G7X, second hand off Marketplace, so today I'm using that, because uh, I just wanted to like sort of lug this little thing around instead of like my massive big Canon M50, so yeah. No. Where are you, Falcon? Okay, I have absolutely no idea how this is happening, but I have just got all the way through North Lakes without hitting a single red light. I don't know whether that's a first or not. This could be a world first, but uh, let me know in the comments. Have you guys made it all the way through North Lakes without actually uh, without hitting any red lights? I cannot believe it took less than two years to get through that place. So happy. All right, Newelon 10W3. 40. Hey, there we go. Ooh, forty-four dollars on special. Uh, G7X focusing is so bad. There we go. Also gonna grab one of these too. Be cool. So with all the ash that I went through and everything, and all the dust and everything that I went through on that like six thousand k journey, um, my filter is just clogged with ash and dust and everything. So this is definitely a must. Right here, yeah, so I got everything I could possibly need. Plus, I actually found this in there. It's an RX-7 FD, this is so sick. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting that too. Um, ended up getting oil filter, uh, the uh the k and cleaning kit, plus two five liter bottles of Neulon. Um, let's go get this in the car. So one thing that I've been fighting off with ever since I pretty much got back to Brisbane was I've been feeling like super unwell ever since I got back. I finally start feeling better again, and then all of a sudden I have a massive toothache. Um, and then I had a look this morning, it looks like possibly my wisdom teeth have come through. And I'm not a happy chappy because my mouth is so, so sore. So I'm gonna have to get another thing for the dentist and everything. It just seems like since I quit my job, everything that's expensive has literally just hit me at once and I'm like, ah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get it all sorted eventually. I'll be fine. So I have honestly no idea whether it's bad or not to open up Hot Wheels cars. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway um, because the rest of mine down there literally have all been opened anyway. So. If I can get my nails into it though. Hell yeah, little FD RX-7. Amazingly, one of my cars, this one right here, um, was actually given to me. Oh, G7X, come on, focus man, focus. This car here was actually given to me by a fan at the Melbourne meet. Uh, he wanted to try and find something that was very similar to my car and uh, due to the underglows on my other car, he thought this would be the perfect uh, the perfect thing to give me. Uh, yeah, you're an absolute legend dude. Thank you so much for gifting me this, it's so cool. So now I have two R34 GDRs, R32 GDR, FDRX7, a Porsche, an old GT, and a Chaz Mozzie super cheap auto V8 supercar. How rad is that? Alrighty, so first of all, I'm gonna focus on doing the pod filter just while the engine cools down and does everything it needs to do. Um, yeah, simple as taking off those three there. The pod filter sits literally just down in there. It's a K&M pod filter, um, and we have everything ready to clean it. So I'm just gonna quickly take that off now, and uh, we'll get to work. Okay, so I have the filter here and I got my quick little cleaning stuff. Apparently, spray this all over the filter and leave it there for around about 10 minutes. I'm not quite sure exactly how much to put on, but I'm just gonna keep going. All right, I'm just gonna leave that there for 10 minutes, let it do its thing, and then uh, we'll come back and wash it off with some water. And then we'll go from there, hey?
Okay, so it's been roughly about 10 minutes and I can, yeah, I can already see that this has started to like leak a whole heap of shit off it, so. Leak a whole heap of stuff off it, so let's get into it. It's gonna be interesting. Ew. Definitely not the worst I've seen, but not the best. <laughs> This is just all that, uh, all that ash, all that dirt, all that dust. All right, so car's all jacked up, ready to go. I'm gonna drop the oil real quick, and then uh, we'll do the rest of the service. As I said before, um, Repco actually had a massive sale on, so it was $44 for a, uh, for a whole five liters of this. Now these FGs need six and a half liters of oil. So yeah, I got way more than I need, plus getting a Z516 Ryko oil filter. She should be good to go. And normally the last owner, partially rounded this, so. Right, that's better. Ah. Here comes the bit. This thing comes out and leaks over literally everything known to man, including my face, and my bed, and my TV. It's gonna go friggin' everywhere, I hate it. Alrighty, here we go. Oil down my entire arm. There's none on the concrete yet. That's a bonus. That was nowhere near as messy as I thought. 10W40. Fully synthetic. This is what Gene recommends as well as Real Dino for my car especially. Um, fully synthetic, high tech, fast flying, 10W40. I was on sale for $44 and it was cheap as chips. So I'm gonna quickly empty one of these into the engine without getting it everywhere if I could. Perfect, so there's one. Now this one here, we're going to need one and a half litres from, so that'll bring us down to three and a half litres from five, which is cool. Alrighty, so we're not leaking under there. There's no leaks up the top here. God, this G7X is just terrible with autofocus. There we go. We're all good up here. We're not leaking down here. Everything's looking a-okay. So then we'll just let it run for a little bit. Then check the level. Everything should be all good. And then uh, we'll go from there. April is all good to go. Hell yeah. All right, so now that this filter is completely dried up, we are going to uh, go over it with the oil that is supplied in this little kit here. Um, so yeah, just spray it all on and then uh, your filter will be protected from all the dirts that gets in. How rad is that? All right, so the K&N filter is back in. It's looking a hell of a lot healthier than when it came out of the car. I was having some issues down south about two, or oh, actually when I got all the way to Victoria, I was having some surging issues, like when it was parked in drive, just as I was rocking up to some traffic lights, it was going just on idle. Um, kind of felt like ghost cams in a way. Kind of thinking that that's exactly what it was because it was definitely pretty disgusting. Um, definitely would have been causing some issues. Um, the other thing I could possibly think of is maybe the plugs are fouled again, but I'm not quite sure. Um, didn't feel like a fouled plug because when I was driving, I couldn't feel it. Up even just above idle in the RPM range, it didn't have an issue. So I'm kind of thinking that that's going to sort out everything. Um, but if it's not, might have to make a trip back to Lee and see what we can do about that. But apart from that, this thing all cleaned up, all fixed, all serviced, ready to go before the next road trip. I'm not quite sure where I want to go yet. If you guys have any ideas in the comments where exactly you would like us to drive to for the next road trip, please let me know down in the comments. That would be absolutely amazing. Definitely won't be the last one. I really want to do heaps more road trips with this thing. It's just so amazing. I've been kind of thinking, just, uh, just wondering, you guys. Since I have not been able to find anywhere that pretty much has breeze paint for calipers and the mine have faded like crazy and I also haven't even painted the back yet what color do you think my caliper should go I'm kind of thinking like I'm kind of thinking because we're going to be doing the R33 engine very very soon as well um, I kind of think it'd be a cool idea to go like 
I don't know, something that can tie in between all the cars. So I'm kind of thinking like this bronzy, goldy color on these work wheels actually seems really nice. Like if I did the calipers in them, uh, front and back calipers, the engine parts, the rocker cover and everything else on the engine, maybe in a gold as well. And then like maybe do my calipers in like a bronzy gold. I'm not quite sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but yeah. Alrighty, it's time for a maiden voyage. See how she fares. Um, I have to go quickly drop off a few orders that you guys have put through on the website over the last couple of days. You guys have absolutely been killing it with these amazing orders. We only have two more jumpers left. Two more cruising jumpers and that is it forever until I don't know whether I'll make more or not. They didn't really sell that well. So yeah, two more. That's it. And I think they're both XL. Alright guys, I'm pretty much ready to wrap up today's video. Um, one more thing that I do really need to get out at the moment is if anyone has a set of 17 by 9 wheels, uh, preferably plus 20s or plus 30s for the Skyline, please let me know because I'm interested in buying some wheels at the moment as well as an exhaust, as well as a Hikers Lockout uh, and a fair few other little things. So if you guys have any R33 parts, please let me know as I am very interested in buying some stuff uh, pretty much in regards to doing some drifting and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, please let me know. That'd be meant. So happy to be back in Brisbane though. Especially with my R33. Man, this is a cool looking car. Oh yeah. Anyway guys, that's gonna completely wrap up today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like and uh, comment down below what you think we should be doing in the next couple of videos because I'd be screwed if I know what I'm doing. Anyway guys, have a good one. I'll see you later. Peace out. Yeah.